hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Friday, March 25th. This week, we're continuing our I Still Am series, where we've been exploring the seven I Am statements that Jesus makes throughout the Gospel of John, including one that he makes in John chapter 10, where he declares, I am the Good Shepherd. Now, again, this motif or this image of the sheep and shepherd shows up all throughout the scriptures, including many of Jesus' own statements and parables and illustrations, including one that he gives in Luke chapter 15, which is what we're going to look at today. Luke chapter 15, verses 3 through 6. And the setup to this little mini parable is that the Pharisees, the religious leaders, are criticizing Jesus for eating and hanging out with people that they consider to be sinners. And Jesus responds by telling them this parable. He says, suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and he says, rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. Now, friends, I love what this illustrates about the heart and the character and the person of Jesus. See, the word sheep can be both plural and singular, right? I mean, we use the same word for one sheep or 50 sheep, right? And what I love about this is Jesus is not just the shepherd of the sheep, plural. He's the shepherd of the sheep, singular. And what that means for you and me is that Jesus isn't just the the, the, the the good shepherd over all of his sheep. He's the good shepherd over me and over you. He chose you. He sees you. He cares about you. He loves you. He wants to invite you into intimate relationship with him the way that a shepherd would know his sheep individually. He would call them by name. He would know all of their characteristics. He would know which ones are prone to wander. He would know which ones um, are good leaders. He would know which one uh, you know, was sick or which one had um, a, a problem, right? I mean, Jesus, the, a good shepherd would know these things about his sheep. And this passage is reminding us that Jesus isn't just the shepherd over the flock of sheep. He's the good shepherd over each individual sheep. Friends, Jesus, the good shepherd, knows and loves each one of his sheep, including you and including me. And friends, that just brings me so much encouragement. Hey, I, I hope that you have a great weekend. I hope that you'll join us this weekend on Sunday for our weekend worship services, either in person or online. And we'll pick these videos back up on Monday. We'll see you then.